Hello everyone. Welcome to the new video. Here we are going to see ellipse by means of eccentricity method. So far we have seen concentric circle method, oblong method or rectangular method and parallelogram method. Here uh, we have a question. Construct the conic section curve when the distance of focus from the directrix is 50 mm and the eccentricity is 2 by 3. Also draw a tangent and normal at 30 mm from the major axis. Now, it is not specified that uh, whether the curve is ellipse, parabola or hyperbola. So, from the eccentricity, eccentricity value we have to determine which of the following three curves we have to draw actually the eccentricity is 2 by 3 here which is definitely less than 1 now we know already that uh, if the eccentricity is less than 1 the curve definitely will be an ellipse now also draw a tangent and normal at 30 mm from the major axis so let's get started now from the question uh, it is specified that the distance of focus from the directrix is 50 mm and the eccentricity is 2 by 3 so directrix Directrix means uh, the fixed line. So fixed line, what do we mean by this fixed line? Uh, for constructing any kind of conic section curve, we need a fixed line and a fixed point. We know the center of the circle itself is the focus. So there is no deviation of focus from the center. But in the case of other curves like parabola, ellipse and hyperbola, focus is away from the center. So that means eccentric. Now here the question is uh, the distance from the focus uh, to the directrix is 50 mm. So uh, first of all we can draw a line, fixed line which is called the directrix. So usually we draw directrix as the vertical line. Directrix uh, is an infinitely going line so it is not needed to draw a specific length and also a perpendicular line to the directrix which is known as the uh, axis or major axis of the figure. Now this one here this one is called the directrix and uh, this one here is called the major axis. Now next step is here the distance from the directrix to the focus is 50 mm. So this is the directrix. So focus definitely uh, comes at any point on the major axis. So we can say this point is considered to be the point O, the uh, point of intersection of a directrix and major axis. And from that point we can take the distance of 50 mm. At this particular point we have the focus. So this is the distance. Now. There is no other data about the curve. So from OF1, this is the distance from directrix to the focus. So the, you, we know that this curve is an uh, ellipse because the eccentricity is 2 by 3, which is less than 1. So for the ellipse, uh, there would be two focus or foci and two vertices. So this is the first focus among that and uh, the, there is a procedure for uh, drawing the curve. First procedure, first step is 
to divide this OF1 line into five equal parts. Why this five equal parts? Because the eccentricity here is two by three. So totally two plus three, five parts is needed. If the eccentricity is one by three, we can say one plus three, four parts needed. Here, five parts needed. And also in this eccentricity, two is it in the uh, numerator and three is in the denominator. So from the uh, focus, focus point, second division towards O should be considered as the vertex. Here F1 uh, is here. So from F1, we should take the second division. This is the first one and this is the second one. So this one is considered as the first vertex point. So we got the P1 and F1. The next step is we have to draw an arc uh, with a radius of V1 F1 from V1. V1 F1 from V1 like this and then we have to draw a vertical line from V1. Now the next step here we can see the vertical line from V1 and uh, the arc from F F1 intersects at this point and then we have to draw a straight line starting from O to this intersection point and then we have to extend it uh, like this for uh, some certain length because we have to draw the ellipse inside this portion particular portion now the next step is we have to take divisions from v1 uh, with a distance of one in one centimeter or 10 mm gap so starting from v1 So we can uh, <coughs> mark the points like and after that we have to draw vertical lines from each and every points 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 12. That's it. The next step is we have to uh, extend these vertical lines uh, downwards at this bottom portion. That's it. So here we can mark the intersections as if it is one here, we can mark it as one dash. that's it now the next step is we have to measure one one dash line here it is 26.494 so we have to uh, draw an arc equivalent to this distance from f1 to this line so from f1 as the center we have to draw an arc with a radius of 26.494 like this similarly we have to draw the arc from f1 to this uh, lower portion of the line like this top and bottom portion of the line we have to intersect arc uh, with the radius of 26.495 which is the length of the 1 1 dash line Next, we have to take a 2 2 dash line and uh, we have to measure it 32.988 with the same distance we have to mark an arc from F1 uh, to this uh, 2 dash line at the top and the bottom portion.
similarly we have to do for the rest of the lines with the vertex v1 and uh, v2 v2 is the second vertex which we have to determine so for that with an angle of 45 degree we have to draw an inclined line from f1 like this these two lines are intersecting at this particular point so we have to draw vertical line from that intersection to the axis major axis here so this particular point of intersection which can be termed as the vertex 2 second vertex now we have to connect curve starting from v1 through these all intersections by hand drawing So now this is the required ellipse from v1 to v2 we have connected the uh, curve through the intersections of arcs like this which is called the ellipse so this is the eccentricity method now we have to draw tangent and normal to this curve for that we have to mark a point on the curve from the question it is clear that also draw a tangent and normal at 30 mm from the major axis so in this figure this is the major axis that is x axis so from major axis we have to take 30 mm so for that we can draw a parallel line so this line here is having a distance difference in distance between the major axis that is 30 mm so that's what mentioned in the question now let's say this this line is intersecting the curve at this particular point so this point uh, can be considered as the point for drawing the tangent and normal so I'm going to take this point as P okay now the next step we have to do is we have to draw a line from P to the focus then we have to draw a 90 degree line which is perpendicular to P F1 here So here we can see the angle between these two lines is 90 degree 
then we will get an intersection of line this line intersects the directrix at this point so from that particular point we have to draw a straight line to the point P and then we can extend this line so this particular line here is the required tangent and for the normal we have to draw a line which is perpendicular to this particular line this is how we have to draw the tangent and normal so hope you understand the concept thank you